Hey, welcome to Tuesday's Tips. Today's topic is test taking tips, final exams. All right, my name is Michael. I'm a learning specialist and I live in educational support services. And one of the things I do is help students prepare for tests. And I want a special shout out to Kelly Clayton, who supports the, who supported this series throughout the semester, um, who is in charge of the FYE program here at the college. Kelly, we appreciate all the support you've given us. Um, so in this Tuesday tips, we send in 15 minutes or less, give you some essential skills to help you be successful here at Lehigh Carbon Community College. And in this case, we'll be talking about final exam tips. So here we go. All right. So we're going to talk about final exams at LTRIC, types, study tips, you know, and the essential action I think is really important. Some great starting practices and a time test essential practice. So if you have a time test, this is something I said you have to do. And some final notes and suggestions for you to be successful. All right, so finals here at LTRIC have different schedules. Now, you may be aware of this, you may not, um, but I wanted you to be aware that, you know, final exams run on a different schedule. There's one for fall and the spring. They're all run a little differently. So regardless of what year you're here, make sure you understand when your final exam will be scheduled. Talk to your faculty member if you have any questions. All right, so there are two types, two types of final exams. The final one is a final test. All right. Now, they sometimes call it a final exam, but it's really more of a final test. And it's a test that covers the final section of the course material. Right. The final exam, the final exam will be on the last unit chapters 9, 10, and 11, and 12. That's kind of more like a final test. Right. Then you have this thing called a comprehensive final. And this is what most people think are final exams. And this is a test that covers the entire course. Everything and the course is in play, right? This is a comprehensive final, means all, right? Now they might prioritize certain things. I've seen final exams do this, where they say your final exam is comprehensive, but will mainly focus on chapters 11 and 12. So it's comprehensive, everything's in play, but most of it will be on 11 and 12. Your faculty member will tell you specifically what the final exam is, so a final test, comprehensive exam, or is it more of a focused comprehensive exam? Right. So our discussion here for this purpose, I'm just going to focus on the comprehensive exam type. Right. If you have a comprehensive exam, what do you do? Well, one of the first things you do is you gather your notes, flashcards and handouts and pass tests. And the key is you want to determine what you don't know. What don't you remember? Right. And you want to study what you don't know. The problem we have as human beings is that we have a tendency to study what we know because it makes us feel smart. It makes us feel good. Versus studying stuff that we don't know really kind of puts us as we don't feel comfortable. We don't feel good about ourselves because we don't know it, but that's what we should be studying. So you want to focus on studying what you don't know. Ponder learning objectives of the course, right? Ask yourself this question. If I was a professor, I would put this on the test, right? Use your instinct. What would you put on the test? If you were evaluating your students in this class, what would you put on the test, right? Self-timing or self-testing and self-practice and time practice are really cool, important things. When you want to study and you're practicing your tests, right? When you're practicing doing that, do it in a timed fashion, right? Please don't just read your notes, test yourself, right? You know, it's easy to know, do well in a course when you're looking at your notes, but when you put your notes away, can you ask questions about it? Right? So be sure you answer, you can answer without looking at your notes. Make sure you can do that. Right? And get a study group together. Now, if you haven't gotten a study group with letter yet, maybe it's good to do finals. That's another video we talk about how to create a good study group. That's later on. All right. So key study tips, check your depth of processing. What you want to do here is you want to organize concepts in a map line or an eye map, right? Explain the concepts if you're teaching them to somebody else, right? That to give you a better sense of knowledge along these lines. Apply to concepts. You know, what's an example of this idea? How and when I would use this, right? How does this connect to something I already know? These are all ways to get your processing, your knowledge level deeper, okay? Now, you can also use Bloom's taxonomy as a guide to guide your depth of processing, right? Remember, understand, apply, evaluate, create, right? You go, go, that's how deep you go, right? So the more you remember is the basis, understanding, applying, right? That can help you understand how deep you need to go. 
All right, so if there's a review session, I tell students too, there are two really important test days that are things that are connected to tests. One is the test itself, and two is the review session. Go to both of them if you can, right? If your professor offers a review session, plan on going and go, right? But before the session, go through your notes, check for your understanding, start to highlight any sections you're struggling with, write down questions as you think of them, then Ask your, ask your professor questions by going off of topics that you find challenging. Not what you know, what you find challenging. Be specific. Don't say, well, this will be on the test, or I don't get chapter six, or I don't understand this course at all. Your professor is not going to be able to give you everything, right? But ask them over specific concepts, maybe like somatosis one more time, or I'm understanding this, how much this understand this historical context and why it's important. Could you explain it further? All right. Now write down their answers, ask them questions, but then hit up tutors and your classmates if you still have questions because you're trying to get ready to review for that final exam. Okay, some other general starting practices. All right, so before the test, review the rules of the test. Make sure you understand the rules of the test, right? Can you use no resources, some resources, or anything goes? Is it timed or untimed? If it's timed, plan your time ahead if possible. If it's untimed, create healthy boundaries. Okay, the untimed test students, oh, I have all this time in the world. And sometimes we can spend way too much time on something and we just kind of have to let it go. So create yourself a healthy boundaries for yourself. Now, when you start it, right, skim it. If you can, if you can, not all tests do this. Some of the online tests will prevent you from jumping ahead, but try to skim it if you can and if possible, right? Break down the types of it. Look for optionals and rules carefully. So one of the mistakes students sometimes I've seen them make is like answer four of the 10 questions below, right? Short answer. This is very often the short answer. Answer four of the 10 short answers below. And they also answer all 10 of them when you really know they answered four of them. So look at the options and the rules very carefully, right? Break down the point system and weights before if possible. But if you can't do this before, do it at the very start. All right. And if timed, create a quick plan for that point system. And we're going to go in more depth about that here. Right. But again, if it's untimed, remind yourself about your boundaries. So let's talk about time tests here a little bit. What you want to do is you want to plan your time out. Right. So here's a question for you all. Right. Um, final exam will have 10 questions, 20 points each, six out of 10 short answers for 30 points each, two out of three essay prompts for 100 possible points. You have 60 minutes to complete this exam. Complete this exam. How do you plan your time? Feel free to pause the video if you want to, to get a sense of this. But how would you plan your time? Okay, you should come up with something like this. The weights determine how much time you spend on it. So the multiple choice, 12 minutes. Short answer, 18 minutes. minutes. Both essays, 30 minutes. Broken down further, 1.2 minutes per multiple choice question, three minutes for each short answer, and 15 minutes for each essay, right? Doesn't have to be perfect, but you need that guide, right? This planning process is an essential part of time test success. So really come up with a plan because you want to put the base your time on, right? The, amount, the percentage of the weight. The weight determines how much time you spend on things. Okay, so some final notes, right? Make sure you pause before you submit it. Make sure you pause before you hand it in. Leave no blanks, no blanks whatsoever, right? No blanks whatsoever. Review, use all your time if it's timed, right? Don't rush out of there. You don't want to rush out of there because you're feeling stressed, but don't rush out of review. Look over like the two. If it's untimed, set healthy boundaries, but give yourself time to review things. Double check your work. Look for Hubble mistakes, simple mistakes that can really cost you points like pluses or minus signs or like uh, not developing something enough. So things like that too. Take a deep breath, click submit, hand it in and celebrate. You've earned this, right? You've earned a fi your, your final exam done. Feel good that it's just done. All right, do some celebration. All right, so one of the things, Mike, again, my name is Michael, a learning specialist. One of the things I do help students with is test taking techniques, right? Please reach out to me or one of my colleagues if there's anything we do to support you during your final exams, but also tell us what you thought. 
there's a link in the description and there's you can let us know in the chat as well you know if you're here but thank you for joining us for tuesday's tips again my name is michael and best of wishes on your final exams have a good one